have the 2017 Nissan Note e-Power. It's an electric car, but also a hybrid where the petrol engine only acts as a generator to charge the battery. It's a great car for people who are interested in getting into the electric vehicle, but on a more entry level, because this car is priced under $30,000, but may be concerned about having limited cruising range, often found in the more entry level EV market. The great news about the Nissan Note e-Power is range, whereby you can be looking at in excess of 650 kilometers, depending on the drive mode you select. This is a great vehicle for families as well. As you can see, inside the boot, there is lots of space for putting any of your groceries or anything else. As you can see in the back of the vehicle, as well as being extremely comfortable seats, there is also heaps of legroom. The interior is designed to maximize space. Nissan has put the e-Power battery beneath the front seats, so there's no loss of luggage space. And the only real giveaway that's anything different about this car is the stubby little gear shifter, the same as you find in a Leaf. Instrumentation is almost entirely conventional too. To the right of the traditional analog speedometer with trip computer info in the middle is a large LCD display for access to vehicle status info, like when the petrol engine is running, if the power is being sent to or from the battery, or if regenerative braking is topping up charge. One of the more interesting features I found with this car was the smart rear view mirror, a built-in LCD screen displaying footage directly from the cameras at the rear of the car, while I'm not convinced this technology is best for driving as yet, it's certainly great for reversing with the Nissan 360 degree view. Now the thing everyone always wonders and asks most of all about cars like this is how do they drive? Now the great thing that I can report back about the Nissan Note e-Power is because it's an electric vehicle, it has great torque, instant torque, which gives you that acceleration that you really want from a vehicle. Hey, I'm Cam and I'm part of the Auto Trader team. And we just took out the new Nissan Note e-Power for a drive and I was very impressed. It was uh, extremely smooth and powerful and felt like a much bigger car. So yeah, it was, um, I mean, for the price range, it's, it's really, really impressive. Um, I would definitely use it for my daily commute. It's uh, a little bit more economical than what I currently drive. So yeah, that would definitely be a nice benefit. Well, you've been watching a review on the brand new Nissan Note e-Power. Interesting little bit of technology, it's probably going to polarise quite a few EV enthusiasts, being that it is an EV, an electric vehicle, but it has no plug. So yeah, where, where does that fit into the EV space? Uh, you know, range extender that powers the batteries which drive the electric motor. Uh, so yeah, in every sense of the word it is an electric vehicle, uh, but with no plug, so therefore its only source of charge is by an ICE engine. So yeah, this is gonna be a popular option for a lot of people, but also a very unpopular option for a lot of EV purists. So yeah, hey, where do you sit on it? Um, either way, the technology is cool, and I think it's probably definitely gonna be part of our EV future. Um, so yeah.